Bonjour, mon amigo. I'm going to try to cover a couple of subjects here today. A pair of mysterious, highly mobile microsatellites dubbed MITEX, MITEX, M-I-T-E-X, are roaming about in geostationary orbit. Their mission and capabilities are unknown. Their orbital position is classified. Lockheed and orbital scientists each built one of the 225-kilogram microsatellites for DARPA and the Naval Research Lab built the propulsive upper stage. I found that quite interesting. Look up the MyTech satellite if you can. Um, the LES-8 and the LES-9 satellites could already see the letters on here. So this one is a micro satellite. It's kind of supposed to sneak up on other satellites, but I think it sneaks up on us. Now, one of the things I wanted to talk about was these pandemic influenza plans that were made in 2005, 2006, 2007. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services had a plan in 2005 that said some very strange things. Pandemic viruses can also arise when some of the genes from animal influenza viruses mix or reassort with some of the genes from human influenza viruses to create a new hybrid influenza virus. This is 2005. This can occur when a single animal, for example a pig, or possibly a person, is simultaneously co-infected by a human influenza virus and an avian influenza virus. A human or a pig that gets a human and avian influenza virus. Wow, they're profit. In this situation, genes from the human and avian viruses can reassort and create a virus with the surface proteins, blah, blah, blah. Reassorted viruses have been frequently identified and are thought to be responsible for 1957 and 1968 pandemic. It's clear that pandemic influenza has the potential to pose disease control challenges unmatched by any other natural or intentional infectious disease event. That was nice of them to tell us, despite vast improvements made in medical technology. Yeah, I'm seeing that. No, I'm not. I don't have health insurance. Now, this is from 2007, the Pan-American Sanitary Conference. You see the Pan American? That would be like, uh, that would be like all of us, you know, uh, in the North American Union, you know? So, uh, the Pan American Conference said avian flu and pandemic influenza. First, we've set out the basic public health capacities the state must develop, strengthen to maintain the primary, intermediate, and national levels in order to detect, report, and respond to public health risks. Bleed, bleed, bleed. Influenza is a viral disease that affects both animals and humans. When a new strain emerges and adapts to enable transmission from person to person, the disease can quickly spread far and wide, resulting in a pandemic. The disruption caused by a pandemic is often compared to natural disasters, but a pandemic is likely to cause both widespread and sustained effects, likely to deplete the resources of every member state. Unfortunately, Mexico is the first member Pan-American state that has been depleted. So they saw the need for all the countries to develop influenza pandemic plans. That's why I keep talking about it, because every state, every county, every city, every uh, combination of North American Union, every individual country, the World Health Organization, Department of Defense, the Home, Department of Home Security, all have their own influenza pandemic plans. I have hundreds of pages on this computer. I can't read them all. It, it's insanity. Um, and it's meant to be that way. It's quite confusing. Um, at this time in 2007, just like I reported before, the WHO level of pandemic influenza alert remained at phase three, 
This meant that a novel influenza virus causing sporadic human cases is possible. But they want you to know that it was in the top part that uh, a pandemic can really drain all the member states, maybe the whole world. The sad story. I just hope we're all prepared. I hope you're all prepared uh, spiritually and physically. And I wish you blessings.